Hey everybody, Rich Gaming Guy here. Today I'm going to show you guys exactly what you need to do in the event that you run into a secure boot violation when trying to boot up Podacera. I've run into this problem multiple times on multiple PCs and it doesn't matter whether you're using a SSD or a hard drive, you can still fall into this issue. So it can be really frustrating if you don't know exactly how to navigate your way out of this. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what you need to do to your settings in order to properly boot up Podacera. So let's dive into it. All right, so the first thing we want to do is obviously make sure that you've installed your hard drive or SSD that you're looking to boot up to inside of your PC. Once you've done that, make sure that you connect a keyboard to that PC because we're going to need to use the keyboard in order to make these changes. So I'm going to go ahead and boot up my PC. And as soon as I hit the power button, I'm going to start hitting F10 on my keyboard. This is going to open up your setup utility. Now, sometimes you're going to get a prompt on screen that reads that you need to hit escape in order to open up your setup utility. I did get that on here. Unfortunately, it was prior to me being able to grab the uh, screen capture on this, but I actually never hit escape. I just kept hitting that F10 and it did bring me right into my um, setup utility here on my HP PC. Okay, so now that we're in our HP setup utility, we're going to navigate with our arrow keys on our keyboard over to the security tab. So it's going to be the third option over. Once we get to security, we're going to drop down to secure boot configuration, which in my case is the last one down. Yours may look a little bit different than this, but it should say something to the effect of secure boot configuration. So go ahead and select that. And here it's going to say the options on this setup page are only for Windows 8 and other operating systems that support secure boot. Changing the default setting of any of the setup options on this page for operating systems that do not support secure boot may prevent the system from booting successfully. Are you sure you want to continue? We're going to hit F10 and that's going to accept as long as of course that's exactly what you want to do. So now here under secure boot configuration, I'm able to go down to secure boot and with my arrow keys, I'm going to do arrow key right and change that to disable. Now I'm going to hit F10 on my keyboard to accept this. That's going to make these changes. And now from here, I'm gonna navigate over to my first column and I'm gonna drop down to save changes and exit. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter and that is going to reboot my system. All right, so I did get a confirmation page that popped up and asked me to enter in a code and then to hit enter in order to confirm the changes that I was making here. So I wasn't able to screen capture that because it was prior to the actual boot up process here. But I all I did was just simply enter in the four digit code that it, it displayed on screen and hit enter. It's just a confirmation phase that you need to go through on here. So I did that and it instantly booted me right into Botticera. So here you can see I'm able to go through all of my different collections here on my 2TB Bodicera build on this hard drive. So fully able to boot up now. That's going to do it for today. If you guys have any questions with this process, feel free to hit me up in the comment section below. Always happy to help out any way that I possibly can. But that's going to do it for today. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button. Huge help for us here on YouTube. And of course, check us out on our website, www.retrogamingguy.com. And be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay in the loop for all future videos here on the Retro Gaming Guy YouTube channel. That's going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching.